guys, welcome or welcome back to this channel where I review wide fit shoes. Today I'm reviewing Public Desire. Now, the package came and it looks so ugly. I'm like, what the fuck? Ugh. I don't know if it broke or something, but this is how it looks. <laughs> but yeah, I'm gonna see what's inside. This has been sat in my living room for like three days, so I'm excited to actually see what I've got. Also, I just want to let you guys know, none of these videos that I'm doing are sponsored, like not a single video is sponsored. One, I have like no followers, and number two, I'm literally just trying to find the best wide fit shoes. Like, I'm not doing it for any like monetary reason. I genuinely just want to find the best wide fit shoes, and I want to help other people that have wide feet, because it is so frustrating having wide feet sometimes, and not being able to shop shoes, and I've just had the worst experience, so I'm like trying to do it in a positive way of like, let me try every single brand that I can find and see what their shoes are like. So yeah, just a side note, I know I'm rambling, but yeah. Packaging's cute. So first pair, it comes in the, I don't know if you can see this, but it basically comes in like public desire bag, which cute. I do like it when they come in bags, but I don't think these are recyclable, so kind of wasteful. But this is the first pair. This is the first pair. They are shorter than I thought they'd be. Like, I thought they'd be a bit taller. But, yeah, they're cute. I'm excited to try them on and see what they look like. Okay, first of all, wow. These are so small. Like, look at my foot just hanging off the edge. Like, it's actually laughable. But then also, why is there one weird little anchor down here? And then there's not on the other shoe. And, like, whose ankle is that skinny that's going to fit into it? Okay, the first ones are a no, but I mean, they are cute. They just don't fit my big old feet. So this first pair was $32.99. So not the cheapest. It's really not that expensive when you think about it. They actually look decent-ish quality, to be fair. There's no glue or anything showing. There is like an extremely plasticky smell, but I'm assuming that's because it's made from plastic. Oh my God, I love these. <laughs> These are not everyone's cup of tea, like completely understand if you don't like these. I wanted like a cute funky pair of shoes. So this is the second pair. So these are $29.99. So again, around £30. Not the cheapest, like they're not Primark cheap, but they are still affordable. Uh, and they also did Klarna. I think I paid Klarna for these. So it's like a good payment option. They're kind of like this like furry, <coughs> makes me feel a bit ill. I don't know why, but the material makes me feel like, Ugh. But they look really cute and I'm excited to try these on. They look pretty wide, so yeah, let's try these. Okay, wow, these are so freaking cute. I love these, like I really just think they're definitely not for everyone, but yeah, really cute. They are a little bit tight, like every shoe seems to be around the top arch of my foot. I don't know, like they are comfortable right now, but I don't know how long I can wear them for. But they're just really different and fun. I do actually really like these shoes. Like, I know you wouldn't wear them every day, but they're just a cute little moment, I don't know. So it's like got, oh my God, it's so nice. It's like a brown pair, but the, I don't even know what I would call these because they've got like a stiletto, like pointy bit, but then they're open toe. So it's like open toe, but like stiletto style. But yeah, brown and then with the gold detailing on the tip and the front bit as well. And then this goes around your ankle, I think. These were again $32.99, so around the £30 mark. Okay, I'm not gonna lie, I actually feel devastated about these because I wanted to wear these for my birthday, which is gonna be in like two weeks. But look at my toes. <laughs> oh my god, I'm gonna have to do like a close up. Look at my toes. Like they are so far over the edge of this shoe, it's not even funny. And honestly, I'm just gonna try and walk. Like they're those shoes that you can't, like, I feel like I'm literally gonna keel over. But they're so cute, like, honestly, so cute. Such a ball lake to put on though, I can't even tell you because basically this is too thick to go in the little fastened bit at the back, so it just takes ages to like feed it through. Um, but yeah, I'm so sad about these, but oh my God, how cute. Okay, I actually got a lot of pairs. <laughs> That's the thing, when I like a brand style of shoes, I'll just order loads because they're all really cute and I can't make my mind up, which is I feel like what you want. Not like new look. I'll link my new look review around here, but they just, they're just, their shoes aren't for my age group anymore, I've got to say. I'm, into, I'm like almost 25, but you know, they're just not a bad. Anyway, 
let's get back to this. <laughs> so yeah, cute little black kitten heel. These remind me a lot of the Pretty Little Thing shoes that I actually kept, they're the first pair of shoes I kept. And they were a little bit tight, but then once I stretched them out, they were good. Anyway, cute strappy black shoe. Really small little heel as well, so a bit more comfortable. And I like the fact that the toe part is square. I don't know, just cute, quite trendy right now. And I believe these tie up around the leg. So these shoes are $29.99, so the cheapest yet. I think I've genuinely just come to the conclusion that I don't like tie up shoes, like, because I never know how to tie them. I just find it really stressful. They never look that cute. And it was kind of hard. It was just, it took so long to get these on. Sorry, there's stuff all over the floor. But yeah, it just took so long to get these on. They definitely are wide foot. Like it is, again, a little bit constricting around my upper part of my foot, like a lot of shoes tend to be. But if you don't have a really wide, like, oh, there's a motorbike going past. If you don't have a really wide, like, arch of your foot, I do think these are a good choice for you. They are cute. Again, I just, I just don't like the tie up, the tie up vibe. Maybe if I had like somebody tie it for me that knew what the fuck they were doing, then yeah, I would like these. But yeah, definitely our wide foot. Not too uncomfortable. Not the most comfortable, but yeah. Oh, these are a vibe. These are a vibe. I think they're very, very similar to the previous pair, but they're like, like black and white. And then the other shoe is a different color. Let me show you. One is black and one is white. Look, I'm like, this is cute. Definitely not for everyone. Like, they look weird as well because I'm like holding them up. But how cute is that? Like, oh, I just really like it. I know I say this all the time. Like, it's so cute. But very, very, very cute. Really vibing with these. Again, I think these are tie up. They're that. They go in between the toe again, though, which some wide girls do struggle with. So, yeah, just a note. These were $29.99 again. So, they're all around £30. Okay. Now, just looks wise, these get like a 10 out of 10. Like, they're so cute. But again, like I said a minute ago, I just hate tie up shoes, man, because they just look really messy. But that is just like a personal preference kind of thing. Comfort wise, again, they're not wide enough here by the toe. And this part isn't adjustable. Like it doesn't, it's not part of the tying part. So yeah, like this one, my bigger foot, especially my right foot, it's just so uncomfortable. But looks wise, I mean, they're just so cute. But honestly, like, I've had them on for, like, five minutes now. My feet just hurt so much. I can't even tell you. So, yeah, these are a miss for me. But honestly, if we're just going on how cute they look, they're 10 out of 10. Okay, so six. I think I've got eight pairs of shoes. Just so you guys know, I've got eight pairs. So, I think this is the most I've ever ordered. I had to get a Perspex pair of heels. I get a pair... Every time a brand has a Perspex pair of heels... I'm gonna buy them because I need to try and find some that fit me because I think they're just such a perfect heel to wear with anything. And I just wanna find some that fit my big white, wide feet. So yeah, I got a Perspex pair. I'm sick of trying Perspex heels out because they always look terrible, but let's just pray that these fit. These were $29.99. <laughs> I feel like I'm gonna die. Oh God, I literally put these on. No, tried to put them on, can I say. And then instantly was like, I just want to take these stupid things off because basically I pulled back this part to put, actually get them on my feet because they wouldn't fit. But, oh, every pair of Perspex heels does this to me, like my poor toes right now. And after trying on so many shoes, like your feet get sore. And this, I mean, they are padded. Like, honestly, if these are wide enough, I genuinely think they'd be so comfortable. But like, Everything about them is just terrible. Like, and I feel like I constantly am so negative in these videos, but I feel like it's impossible to be positive when shoe after shoe after shoe doesn't fit your feet and it's just so frustrating. But yeah, terrible once again. The Perspex Heels saga continues. If anyone knows any Perspe Perspex Heels, is it Perspex or Perspex? Perspex Heels that actually are really wide, then please hit me up. Oh my God, these are so nice. Oh, they come, they've got they got a scratch on them, which isn't the best. How nice are these? Like I'm loving. Also, they kind they've got a stretch in them, so I feel oh I just broke myself in the eye. I feel like they're gonna fit. Um, these are just such a vibe, like the little gold detailing. I feel like they look quite comfy as well, but yeah, I really love these. I'm very excited to try these on. Anyway, these were $44.99. So 
little bit expensive for me. So excited, I can't even tell you that these fit. Like, <gasps> these are my first like high boots like this. That fit me that I found. So I'm just buzzing that they fit to be honest. Like, oh, oh, they are a little bit tight, but I honestly don't even care because they fit. And they're the cutest shoes ever. I honestly wanted a pair like this for so long. I don't actually know how I would style these, but I love them. They are definitely wide enough. And if you've got a little bit bigger legs like me, they will fit you. But yeah, sorry, I'm out of breath because I was dancing. Whew, I got so excited. But I'm just so excited. Like, I can't wait to style these up and just, like, be cute in my cute little white shoes. Ah! Last but not least, we had to get another pair of mules. These are such a vibe, though. Like, oh, I just love them. Little kitten heel as well. And it does slightly taper out, which I do like the heel to like taper out a bit because I feel like it's a bit wider there, gives a bit more support. But these are just lovely. Like, aren't they nice? And they've got like padding at the bottom here. So hopefully they're comfy. So these are $29.99. So essentially all of these shoes are like £30 and up. Okay, I feel like we're ending on a high because these fit. So in total, three out of eight pairs fit which isn't great, but I am happy that these fit. They are, like, they haven't really got a lot of grip, so they're not the easiest to walk in, I do have to say, but this is a first impression. Like, I wouldn't know until I actually went walking around, you know, in them to see, but yeah, these are so cute. Like, really nice, not the most practical. Like, they don't have a lot of support, but I feel like that's what you get with these types of shoes. Let's divulge. I have to say firstly, I love the styles of these shoes. Like they're just so current, so up to date. They are 100% what I want in this. Okay, my boyfriend is back. Oh, bloody hell. Oh, okay, my boyfriend just got back from work. So I'm gonna have to wrap this up. But these shoes, like I said, the styles are really cute, but the fit is just not wide enough for me. Maybe if you have like semi-wide feet, like, oh, my feet are a little bit wide. They will work for you. But for my feet, they're just not wide enough. Like, yeah, that's all I've got to say. But the fact that the boots fit me, I'm just so beyond excited about, I can't even tell you. So yeah, public desire is it's like a, you've got, it's kind of a bit of a risk to be honest, because they might not fit you, they might fit you. So proceed with caution, really cute brand. The shoes are a little bit more high quality than like PLT were, and same with Simi London, like the, this, these shoes are made to a higher standard in my opinion but yeah all the links will be down below for all of the pairs of shoes thank you so much for watching and i'll see you guys in the next one bye